But we are gonna watch the Magnificent Seven. Not sponsored by them in any way. Uh, we, I'm not, I haven't sold out yet. I said yet. Just kidding. I'm never gonna sell out. Go buy my shirts in the bottom. Just kidding. But the Magnificent Seven is coming out. Well, tomorrow. Yeah, we get to see it before everyone today. So go watch it today, cause we can. But it officially releases tomorrow, since crap it releases today. What am I? Like? I just looked at the clock. I, I want to die now, but yeah, we're about to go see it. Hopefully, it does good and not crappy, like I think it is. It has good actors, I'll tell you that. This one looks like the guy from what's that movie's name? I mean, show's name. Uh, Entourage, Kevin Dillon. Looks exactly like him. So yeah, see you guys in this, after the movie. Hopefully, it doesn't suck. So. I was too loud. Okay, so I just came out from seeing the. I was gonna say the ridiculous seven. What is wrong with me? That's another movie. I just came out of seeing the Magnificent Seven with Denzel Washington, Matt Bloomer, aka Neil Caffrey. If you guys know that show, where he steals paintings. Uh, Chris Pratt, Ethan Hawke, and others. I don't remember. Oh, and Private Pile. Can't forget about Private Pile. I'm gonna shoot myself in the head now. All right, if you guys don't get that reference, watch Full Metal Jacket. God. Let's get to the real parts, all right? The movie is about, you know, a classical Western. If you guys ever watched that movie? Clint Eastwood movie with Val Kilmer, a.k.a. Young Bloods. I don't even know if Clint Eastwood directed about that one. He didn't. But, you know, there's Young Bloods, and then we have Tombstone. Those great movies. And this is basically what it's about. Bad guy, you know, steals land from the good guy, from the, you know, settlers. And then the good guy, Denzel Washington, goes, finds the seven people. And that's basically what the story is about. If you guys don't want spoilers, pause here. I will give you three seconds to exit this video completely. So if you don't, then... That's your fault for wanting spoilers, so don't get mad at me because I warned you for already a few seconds. And if you haven't clicked out yet, then you're going to get in spoilers. So here we go. Denzel Washington. That was a long pause. I mean, Denzel Washington, a.k.a. The, bad, the good guy. I was about to say the bad guy. The good guy goes... Oh, crap. I forgot the first part. All right, so Matt Bloomer dies by the bad guy. His wife wants revenge, so he, she sees, you know, Denzel Washington. She tells Denzel Washington that she needs help killing the bad guy. Then Denzel Washington goes to another area, finds Chris Pratt. And that's where, you know, everything happens. Chris Pratt then goes with the Denzel Washington, and then they go find other ones, like the Mexican guy and the Chinese guy and... Ethan Hawke and all these others and then that's when st crap starts getting real that's when it starts getting good even though, like the beginning was great and this is where it starts getting better then you know they go into the place where it got raided they kill more bad guys right there that's when the first fight scene happens so once that happens you know it's gonna get crazy from there after that the guy who looks like Kevin Dillon who I think is Ethan Hawke doesn't kill one guy. That one guy, you know, goes away. Denzel Washington tells one guy to go send the message to the bad guy to come over here and all this. And then, you know, that's when the fight happens. Bad guy comes and everything goes from there. This is what happens. All right, here we go. I'm just going to spoil the whole movie already. Bad guy comes with horses and whole army. And then, before that, good guys go and recruit some of the settlers. But before I forget, before I forget, this part right here, this is where the three amigos come in. 
before Denzel, well, not before, but Denzel Washington and his crew, you know, go help these settlers out and train them how to shoot. And this is where it reminded me of the Three Amigos because, you know, if you see that movie, they also teach people how to shoot and they help them out and all this. So, go watch Three Amigos. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, the movie is right there. It's just different. But if you guys want to know why it reminded me of the Three Amigos, then watch this. I mean, watch the Three Amigos. And then this one. And then you'll get the whole reference. So, let's start out from where we were going. Bad guys come. A war starts. Huge war. It's crazy. A lot of people die. It was awesome. Chinese guy, best knife, best knife scene. Not gonna lie, he, he did a lot of badass kills. And, well, you guys know where it goes from here. Main people die. Well, some of the main people die. Like, Chris Pratt. The guy who looks like Kevin Dillon, the Chinese guy. Private Powell dies again. Hashtag. Private Powell died twice already. From what I've seen, I don't know how many times he died in any movie. But he he's died twice. For me, I've seen him once die in... What's it called? Full Metal Jacket and then this movie. So, rest in peace, Private Dial. Private Powell, again. So, he dies. Chinese guy dies. Chris Pratt dies. Denzel Washington doesn't die. He fights the bad guy. You know, the girl kills the bad guy. And Denzel Washington almost died. Because the bad guy almost shot him. And then that's where the movie ends. And then you see the cutscene. There is nothing at the end. So, you don't have to wait. And sit there needing to pee for five hours until the credits are done. But everything was good. The whole acting was great. Chris Pratt and all them were amazing. I was shocked that they killed main people. I mean, that was pretty badass. So, yeah. That was it. Like, subscribe, favorite, share. Once again, like, subscribe, favorite, and share. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Go fuck yourself. Hypnotic. <laughs> It was green. Yeah, it was H two O. H two O. Hypnotic. Um. So after that was the tag team. Again, right? Yes.